Hey there, so we just finished up our first guest lecture and that was a lot of fun. So we went on to campus over at Stonehill College, which is my alma mater. And every single time I go there, they are building new buildings there. So I imagine they're doing well. Their healthcare side has increased dramatically. They haven't really been known in the past for their, their healthcare programs. And now it really seems like it's really building up. I think they have over 80 graduates uh, or 80 kids that are in the major right now. Uh, and they have um, lots of kids now starting to come specifically just for healthcare management. So. Uh, it's always great to hear that and which hopefully this is the start of a really good relationship and I think the it was interesting too to talk to the kids and find out you know what it is that motivates them they were there was um, one who's really interested in long-term care another one who uh, for personal reasons interested in addiction care and it's great to see the passion at that age because I was not nearly as passionate about what I do at that age not nearly as where I am now so I hope that they carry that with them and that it is what really kind of drives them going forward I would I'd be very interested to see where they where they end up so uh, it was great so the the education part when I mean man I know I can talk but an hour and a half went by like it felt like 10 minutes to me it probably felt like six hours to them but I think it was um, it was fun to give them an education on things like the macro quality piece of, of healthcare. What you know what's come on to us as something that's very laborious and, and obtuse to them is going to be their where their baseline is. You know it's it's really weird to to see it that way. That this is just already going to be part of the industry by the time they get into it and. Then we did a cool little exercise where we built the practice from scratch, trying to get them to be realizing how many vendors there are. You know, healthcare is a lot more than seeing patients in the clinic. As we all know, um, that's what we want it to be all about, but then it turns into being a lot more than just that. You, we have all of our vendors that are so fun to deal with and all the requirements from the government and, and, and things like that. So the going through what it actually takes to start up a practice was really fun and got some decent participation and yes this is at Stonehill College we got decent participation um, so I think it went well and probably the start of, of more and I one thing I forgot to talk to them about was that when we had gone there in the spring they wanted to be a part of the MGMA but weren't really happy with what the you know the financial obligations and things like that so I was able to rally the MGMA folks in Massachusetts and Rhode Island to be able to take on any of the kids at Stonehill College free of cost, give them access to everything, and I think it would be great, and I talked to the professor of the program about this, that hopefully we could get them to maybe attend a program, or at least see what see a bit more um, more face-to-face -face what we're all about and what our programs have to offer, and I think that will be be fantastic for them to be able to actually see one maybe we'll aim for like the january program i'm thinking might be more appropriate um of a program to take them to and it's uh and now we can take get them there in there free they can get access to all of the pieces that we have regarding um you know literature and 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 being able to connect with other professionals in the industry know who's a part of it and be able to connect with other vendors and and things like that so they can expand their uh, their knowledge base of the industry and maybe even connect with some people that are in an industry that they're looking to get into because we sure do have all sorts of specialties in the MGMA so we'll pass that information back to the professor so they can they can get that information I just kind of get carried away sometimes with talking as you may know